As the temps continue to drop, as we mentioned, it's the time of year where we start to see more deer around, specifically on the roads. Now today, I talked with law enforcement about how best to keep avoiding one while on the road. The deer are becoming more active, so we ask motorists to be uh, diligent in their driving habits. Staying diligent to prevent a crash so many Michiganders face each year. According to the Kent County Sheriff's Office, deputies responded to more than 1,300 crashes involving deer last year. This year, they've already reached 693 and counting. Individuals will attempt to swerve to, to miss that deer. They don't want to damage their vehicle, and then that usually causes the injury crashes and the more severe crashes because they've tried to avoid that animal. Michigan so State Police Lieutenant Michelle Robinson says it's unfortunate, but the best option is to hit the brakes and stay in your lane. We would sooner have motorists have to replace a vehicle than have some uh, tragedy occur. Seatbelts are also a must, especially making sure your passengers in the back seat are buckled in. Because if you're traveling at 55 miles an hour and all of a sudden you have to break suddenly to a, to um, have a, a deer runs into your your lane of travel, those occupants that are in the back seat are still traveling at 55 miles an hour. And keep an eye out where you're driving anywhere. Deer aren't just in the countryside. We had a crash where there was someone that hit a deer right on the Grand Haven Bridge. And so you wouldn't expect a deer in that area, but they are. If you do hit one, Lieutenant Robinson says to stay calm and call for help. We ask that you call 911, safely pull to the side of the road if you can.